Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at my settings on X Defiant, so let's get into it. So I'm a PC player, but I play controller on PC. So you console players out there, I'm not too sure if you guys are going to have the exact same settings. But first things first, let's get into field of view. So you should be somewhere in between 100 and 120. You don't want to be too high, you don't want to be at 120 though, and you also don't want to be at 100. You want to be somewhere in between. When you're at 120, it seemed like it was really distorted and your gun seems really far away and when you're at 100 you just get turned on like crazy because you can't even see them coming okay so next we got the ads field of view we got consistent and we got independent basically what this does is on independent it reverts your default field of view so when you guys are looking down your reflex it'll change to whatever the default field of view is and you got consistent where it'll keep it at 110 the whole entire time so this helps with recoil control all these other settings and gameplay and ui are pretty much just the quality of life you guys can turn on your your ping and your fps if you guys want to or you can change your guys distance units things like that the so next we'll move on to con the controller tab okay on controller you guys have button layout stick layout you guys can do this whatever you guys want doesn't really matter whatever you guys feel comfortable with whether you're a claw player or whatever you do with your fingers you know what i mean next we got aim assist I keep this on standard. Look, I'm not a three-time world champion at FPS shooters. I need my aim assist. So that's that. Next, we got aim assist strength. I keep this at zero. Aim assist follow, zero. And this is a big one. This is aim response curve type. I put this on reverse S curve. So with this, it helps you snap better than the standard setting. Onto my sensitivity. It's completely up to you guys, whatever you guys want to do with sensitivity in this game. But for me, this game is so fast paced that you need to have a higher sensitivity in order to turn on people. If not, you're going to be so slow. So I keep mine between 35 and 40. I kind of mess around with it. ADS sensitivity multiplier. I usually keep these at one. If you guys feel like your analog stick is throwing your iron sights or reticle off a bunch when you guys are aiming at someone, it seems like the acceleration is too much. You guys are going to want to lower it a little bit. I'd say the lowest I would go is 0.80 on both. With Sniper, you guys can do whatever you guys want. The high zoom, completely up to you guys. Next is dead zone. So this has to do with stick drift. So you, what you want is you want the lowest number possible. So mine is good at five, because my controller doesn't have too much uh, stick drift. But if you guys gotta up this, it's okay. Just do whatever the minimum is for you guys' controller so you guys don't see the stick drift. Next. You got acceleration speed multiplier. I have this at 1.5. Now this doesn't affect your aim down sight. So when you guys are aiming down sights and you guys are moving your analog stick, that doesn't increase it. That's the ADS sensitivity multiplier. This just does it when you guys just have your gun out, you're not aiming down sights or anything like that. And these inverted stuff, I don't even mess with that. Controller vibration, it's completely up to you guys what you guys want to do. I like it having it on. It intensifies the experience. Voice and audio, it's completely up to you guys, whatever you guys want to do. I usually turn down my music. I know some people don't like the music too loud. I especially don't, so I turn that down to 40, 41. Uh, voice chat, you can turn this on and off, completely up to you guys. It does have an option here. I know a lot of people were asking, um, push to talk versus open mic. There's an option right here that you guys can select in order to turn that on to where you just have an open mic all the time as well. But again, completely up to you guys, whatever you guys want to do on here. Video and graphics, display mode, obviously on full screen. You want to do whatever your resolution is on your monitor, refresh rate. I don't know why it's on 60 hertz right now. You want to do the highest refresh rate that you can, that your monitor does. Mine does 143. Also have buffering on, reduce latency. Obviously you don't want too much latency in your game. Sometimes you can help it, sometimes you can't. It is what it is. Brightness kept the same at 10. Contrast is at 15. I don't mess with any of this stuff because I don't know what it means. Graphics quality, I have it on custom. Most of my graphics I have on medium. Guys, I don't have a $10,000 PC, so I gotta get it where I can. So with the medium, I get a big FPS boost and it doesn't do big FPS spikes on my desktop. Resolution scale, you want 100. 
frame rate limit, it's a big one. You want to have that on. You don't want to be jumping around from 120 down to 60 or 120 to 200, things like that. You want to keep it pretty consistent. You don't want your computer jumping around, things like that. That'll help with the smoothness of the game. So I have mine at 120 because again, I don't have a super expensive computer. Sharpening, I think that's pretty much default seven. I think this is the only setting I have on here on high is particle detail. But you guys could probably run higher settings than I can. I just run it on medium. So that pretty much sums up the whole settings portion of this video. I just wanted to show you guys what I play with and what controller I use. So I use the Astro C40. It has back paddle shifters on it right here. I love this controller. I'm not a claw player, so the back paddles kind of help me out with the whole jumping and sliding. And with the movement in this game, this controller helps me out a lot. I'm not sponsored by Astro or anything like that. I just like the product that they put out for this controller. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys have any recommendations on maybe you guys are running a little bit of a different setting, things like that, make sure to drop it down in the comments below. As well as if you guys have any recommendations on some videos that you guys want to watch, drop it in down below. But make sure you guys like and subscribe. I am a, a dad here trying to provide for his family. So I appreciate everything that you guys do watching these videos, liking and commenting. So thank you again. I'll catch you on the next video.